Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Nick Lange, and this is the first of a new little cool series here in uh, the year 2020. Today's January 3rd, 2020, and uh, it's a Friday, and how I wanted to really start the year off is try something brand new. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge proponent of really leading uh, with what I think everyone should be doing by doing it myself, and that, that's why this vlog sort of uh, type of introduction is something that I've always wanted to see my friends and my heroes and uh, people I look up to and people I work beside. I, I always want a little insight into their life. And I think this is a really good format of doing it. This is basically going to be like a video diary of my whole process. Uh, 2020 is going to be a huge year. Uh, I've got a lot of things planned and uh, that's why I wanted to start this to sort of start a conversation, a dialogue about what we do and why we do it. Um, if you don't know me, uh, or if you don't know me deeply, uh, the things that really drive me, uh, if I could boil it down, sort of distill it into three main topics, it's music, obviously, technology, obviously, and positivity, <laughs> yeah, obviously. So like the music side of things, I've been playing music my whole life, uh, I pretty much destroyed every possibility of having a normal life because uh, the draw to music was so strong uh, for me, particularly playing drums, just hitting things, bashing things. It's a, it's a healthy outlet, number one. It's super creative and it's very primal. And uh, it's a, been a huge part of my identity. I'm only 30 years old, still youngin', uh, but the last 15 plus years of my life, I've been hitting things and that's been my main identity is uh, the guy who plays drums. Uh, so music is always a huge part of my life. And one thing that I really want to start growing in, in 2020 is my drum lessons and so teaching other people how to find and be creative and really embrace drums. Uh, I'm also trying to do that in other ways with music. I'm also a video game music composer. I, I create music specifically for YouTubers, streamers, uh, video game companies, in, indie video game companies or developers, anyone who's who needs music to go along with their creation and their art style and their art direction and what they want to accomplish uh, with that. Uh, the reason why I play music to begin with is because of the music that I heard in video games, you know, your Mario's or Morios, I can't remember how to say it properly, uh, your Final Fantasy, especially Nobu Amatsu in the, those uh, Japanese titles, and 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 uh, everything that you grow, F-Zero is another great one. Uh, the, those songs stick with you forever in those, those digital experiences, and it's been really my life calling not only to play drums and to be able to have a healthy outlet for my physical self and my creative self sort of combined in one, but also be able to create custom music and custom soundscapes for people who are looking to, uh, to, 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 to build their own world. So uh, I do that as well. Uh, it's, it's, I love making music specifically for streamers, and YouTubers, Twitch streamers, Mixer streamers. Uh, if you wanted to check it out uh, to see if it's something that you're interested in, uh, I just released an album called uh, Spectrum Station. Uh, it's everywhere, like Spotify and Apple Music and Google Music. So uh, you just type in Nick Lange, N-I-C-H-L-O-N-G-E, and then Spectrum Station, and uh, it'll come up. It's, uh, I think, six songs. Nice little little venture. But I'm always trying to create music I've never heard before and soundtracks to my life and soundtracks to my imagination to uh, get everyone on board for things. My cat, Selvin, is trying to say hi to you. Silly, say hi. This is Sullivan. He's a furry boy. You'll see a lot more of him. All right, goodbye, dude. Be gone with you. Uh, so music is a huge, huge, huge part of my life. Uh, also teaching drum lessons. I have, uh, I think, five or six students uh, that I teach Fridays, Sundays. And uh, number one, they're, they're all my best friends. Uh, I get to teach people how to fall in love with something. And uh, I get to spend time with people that I love and, and make money doing it. It's, it's, a, it's insane. I'm insanely blessed. Uh, so that's the music side of things in a nutshell. And as these, as these sort of diaries or blogs happen or vlogs or whatever they are, you'll you'll start to 
to uh, learn a little bit more about me as I divulge a little bit more. Uh, so after music, we got technology. So I'm a business owner, small business owner. I have my own company called Tech Tavern. And uh, what we do is we teach people how to use cell phones, tablets, and computers. Uh, so uh, say for example, you yourself or your mother or your grandmother or grandfather's, uh, the male side of things too. Uh, if they need help learning how to use their phone, their tablet, anything like that, uh, I provide lessons where I can teach uh, people how to better use uh, these modern devices. The, the te technology and the speed of technology is very, 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 very fast and isn't slowing down anytime soon. It, the growth of it is literally exponential. And the faster that technology advances, the further along everybody gets left behind. And uh, I'm I, working in the telecommunications industry. I found this right away knowing that uh, kids aren't talking to their grandparents anymore because they don't like talking on the phone. Uh, they're, they're repelled by that type of communication. And the older generation doesn't know how to text. Uh, so there's just not this communication and there's this sort of built-in regret that happens in these familial situations where they're not connected to their family as much as they could be. And there's a lot of regret that happens when, you know, someone passes away or someone moves away and and there's there just isn't that connection like there used to be. And uh, being able to teach people how to use technology, how to send text messages, how to send emails, uh, how, how, the mindset of how to use modern tech really helps them be, be, be a more, how do you say it, uh, more intimate players in the, uh, in the tech world. Uh, because for a long time, anyone who's, you know, 40 or older, uh, they've been left out completely. And uh, it's this part of my technology uh, uh, sort of passion that I can teach everyone sort of the mindset and the tools to be successful, not only in, in an in a interpersonal and familial sense, but also uh, being a productive digital human being and uh, being able to incorporate that into their lives. So, and with Tech Tavern, I also do repairs and stuff like that. But the main focus is teaching people how to optimize their digital lives and be bigger players. Uh, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Tech Tavern, uh, right now in 2020, I'm in this sort of transitional stage of going from repairs, unlocking, battery replacements and sales into the training aspect of it, uh, but you can still check out my website. It is techtavern.ca, T-E-C-H-T-A-V-E-R-N.ca. It is a Canadian company focused on solving uh, uniquely Canadian problems. If you didn't know, if you're not from Canada, even if you are from Canada and you don't know this, this is an insane statistic. Uh, this statistic is from 2016, so it's a little bit dated now that it's 2020, but it is still true. Uh, Canada is the most expensive place in the world to own a cell phone. Uh, it is the most expensive country in the world to own a cell phone. The average cell phone bill here in Canada is 65 Canadian schmuckaroos. So uh, that's it's most, half of everyone is paying more than 65 and half of everyone is paying less than 65 uh, dollars a month. And uh, the average cell phone plan in 2016 included uh, 750 megabytes, not even the gigabyte in 2016, 750 megabytes of data and 500 minutes of talk time, not even unlimited. In uh, 2020, things have changed. The prices have gone up on average about $10, $15 uh, a month for everybody, uh, for, for, for every uh, subscriber. Uh, but the data now averages, I believe, around it's around that one to three gigabyte range. Uh, and now unlimited talk time is the norm. So on average, Canadians are spending around $75 a month on cell phones. Uh, so it's a very expensive, uh, very, very expensive industry here, the telecommunications industry. And part of Tech Tavern and part of my guiding principle working within those big corporations uh, here in Canada with Bell, Virgin, Kudo, Telus, and working alongside companies like Freedom, Fido, and Rogers, uh, it's been my goal to try and bring the power back to the people uh, through information, through training, and through mindset and execution. Uh, so that's really what I'm what I'm what I'm doing here with Tech Tavern. Uh, right now, in 2020, and transitioning to the training side of things. Uh, right now, the the struggles and the intention are to find the proper clientele, 
to mar get the marketing message correct to actually find people who aren't using technology, don't know how to use technology in a modern world, which is all technological, technologically based. I hope you can understand uh, the difficulty in finding clientele to teach how to use their phones when they don't already know how to use their phones. So very difficult to get started and uh, I'm up for the challenge and I'm so excited for, for everything to start growing in 2020. So if you're in London, Ontario, or anywhere in Canada, anywhere in the world really, and uh, you or anyone you know uh, needs help to learn how to use their cell phone, tablet, or computer, or just want some pointers, or just want a consultation, uh, the first first one's free. Uh, just give me a shout. Uh, you can send me an email at uh, Nick Lon, Nick .lange at hotmail.com. That's N-I-C-H period L-O-N-G-E at hotmail.com. Or uh, you can visit my website, uh, techtavern.ca, and give me a shout there. Or just, there's so many different ways to get a hold of me. Uh, you can comment on this video. Uh, there'll be a little comment section. Just leave a little comment. We'll have a discussion. I uh, never thought about this until this moment recording, but if it'd be nice to like have a little dialogue with everyone as I, as, as we go through this. So if you have any questions about even it's technology or music or just personal, uh, just like Q and A type stuff, uh, feel free to, to, to drop a comment and, and ask anything that you want. And, uh, I'll answer every single one of them. Uh, and it, it'd be nice to, to really take the time to, to make sure that you're getting the answers that you need for the problems and the, the, the personal problems that you're having and how we can sort of utilize each other to, uh, to, to, to get through this. So and with the technology side of things, it, I'm always looking to, to you know, optimize small businesses and individuals and do repairs and sales and just anything that helps people is, is what I'm looking to do in, in, the, tech, in the tech realm. Uh, it's the future and uh, we, really, we, we really need to be making more efforts to embrace it, not let it take over our lives, but allow it to be a tool to optimize so that we can thrive and succeed in a technological future. So that's my plea. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, comments, you wanna have a little discussion, uh, leave a comment. But that last part, that last pillar uh, is positivity. And if you know me in any way, shape or form, you know my driving force and my North Star is uh is love and positivity uh straight up that's just everything that drives me is being able to help people be better uh to learn tools to help myself be more efficient and to find opportunity to practice that in the moment to inspire myself and others to take action and uh there's been a lot of reflection over the last 10 years you know being 20 years old in 2010 and then being 30 years old, years old now in 2020, um, definitely spent a lot of time learning how to do things. I pretty much, the entirety of my life has been like self-taught and going to, to, to internet school, I would call it in the moment. And uh, I spent a lot of time learning and a lot of time doing. And I would say it'd be like a, an 80 learn, 20 do. And one thing that I learned doing doing that or having that, that, that sort of algorithm be a part of my life is even me at my worst when I'm not doing a lot, where I'm only doing 20% of, of, of the things while learning 80% with my other free time, that me at my worst is, was better than most people at their best. And it really brought, it was really brought to my attention with the conversations that I've had over the last 10 years of just how many people are, are crippled at the thought of their inabilities or their vulnerabilities. And uh, it's been a driving force for me to really make that 80-20 and flip it so that uh, I'm, I'm still learning all the time, but I spend most of my time doing. And that's what this is. This right here is uh, putting something up, pressing record, blabbing, and making sure that you understand or, and are inspired by a situation so that you get more like, uh, my algorithm for positivity and my algorithm for success and my algorithm uh, that I run everything through personally is uh, I know that my max capability is only 100%, right? It's impossible to get 101%. It's just a physical impossibility. So if I do my best and inspire 10% more in others, that's sort of my shortcut to fill the glass 
or to fill the tank uh, fuller than, than is capable of being. And this is this video that you're watching is but one example of hopefully how my content, hopefully how my insights, hopefully how my life can touch your life and inspire you to do 10% more than you would have without it. So, and I'd like to know uh, if it actually does impact anyone in that capacity. And, uh, and I wanna find like a real, a real hardcore metric of how that works with uh, your insights and, 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 and your communication, you know, how we can talk together to make that happen. And uh, with positivity, a big thing that uh, I like, I like to, to, to do all the time and I like to bring to people's attention is uh, the podcast that I do uh, with my girlfriend. Uh, it's the Double Happy Podcast. Uh, just like my music, it's, it's out everywhere. Uh, you just search the Double Happy Podcast and it's with me and my girlfriend, Rebecca, and uh, we do uh, solo podcasts together, with each other, not really solo, but just with each other, and then other episodes with guests. And uh, here in Canada, uh, there's a very unique mindset. And uh, this is actually something that I'm researching for uh, a book that I'm gonna be writing about the Canadian mindset, the Canadian male, the Canadian uh, bachelor, and uh, and how to optimize yourself like that. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in too. It's the, so many ideas, but it's so hard. There's only 24 hours in a day, eight hours of sleep, eight hours is work. You only have eight hours left. You, you can't do everything. You can just do your best. But uh, I'd like to sort of develop those positive conversations and those lessons that we learn with our guests on, uh, on uh, with the Double Happy podcast and uh, that I've learned throughout my life, uh, you know, being Canadian and being a male, being a bachelor, and turn that into lessons for other people who maybe aren't. Canadian who don't have those interactions, those uniquely communal and positive uh, interactions, uh, who isn't, didn't live my life, but wants the insights and to learn the things the easy way instead of the way I did it the hard way, and, uh, and who just like to, to optimize. And uh, really, uh, that's, that's, that's a pretty good start for the first video on January 3rd. Uh, I, I, I really want to, uh, to make clear that I really want like the Q&A and that interaction between who you you are watching and, uh, and how we can start a dialogue with one another and uh, how I hopefully can impact your life in a positive way by bringing up anything uh, that, that's on your mind, any pressure that's on your chest, anything that's, uh, that's, that's sort of uh, disillusioning you spiritually or or, or, or mentally, uh, any sort of best practices, anything you can think of uh, in music, technology, positivity, those are my, those are my, my specialties, and uh, I'd, I'd love to be able to help you. Um, vulnerability is, a, is something that I love talking about. Uh, that's how I start all my conversations, is, are the things that worry me, uh, and that's a good way to open dialogue, so think about that. The, th the thing that you don't wanna talk about is probably the thing you should be talking about, so let's have a dialogue there uh, within this community. So uh, comment uh, or, or message me directly if you don't feel comfortable making it public and, uh, and we'll have a discussion, make sure. And uh, any, any insights that we come up with, I'll, uh, I'll, I just wanna be sure that you know that that will be broadcasted, not your name or anything, but just the, the situation, the discussion and the solution and the outcome. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the stuff I wanna focus on. Um, and this is gonna be the, the first video. Hopefully it gets better from here on. Sullivan just locked himself in the bathroom. Uh, but that, the, the best thing I can do is just tell my story and do my absolute best. Uh, you can help be a part of that by emailing me or commenting on the video with questions or concerns that we can discuss. And uh, just being along this journey with me. If you don't feel comfortable putting a camera up and talking about things, uh, you can always comment and uh, make me do it. So I don't have a schedule for this uh, or, or anything like that. Don't have any expectations. Uh, the most important thing is the do, is the action. Uh, what you say means nothing. What you do is everything. And being able to press record and being able to have this conversation and record this type of video is an example of the, of, of the real tangible effects of doing 
overcoming your fears, overcoming your vulnerabilities, doing something you don't want to do for the sake of others and the production and the productivity and the positive mindsets of others that you can affect because everything you do with your life matters and what you are doing with your life is what you're doing right now. So with that, I'll end it and uh, I recommend that you go do something awesome next and uh, actually, I just drink some water, just hydrate, start, start small. <laughs> uh, so I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Uh, peace, peace. Love you very much. Bye-bye. And uh, be awesome.